might end up feeling the chill right inside your house. News 8's Ken Pierce just got back with talking with some pros about the best way to keep out of the cold. Good afternoon, Ken. Good afternoon to you, Keith. This is the kind of weather when lots of people are suddenly going to notice some icy drafts in their homes. So we visited the place in Connecticut where people from all over the world come to learn how to keep the cold out. All homes need a certain amount of fresh air, but we usually find most homes, especially older homes, uh, leak maybe two or three times more than they should. Keith Saunders should know. He works for Larry Janeski's Dr. Energy Saver of Connecticut, teaching technicians at the country's largest energy conservation training center here in Seymour. So some of the leaks that we encounter in our homes are things like recessed can lights in our ceiling. Lights that make a hole in the ceiling mean a hole in the attic insulation. They cut a hole in the sheetrock and install the light. The light has all sorts of holes in it. I can actually see down down into the room below. The solution? Can light covers sealed in place. So that we can cover them and they're no longer going to be a source of heat loss. And that pink fiberglass insulation is not really that good, and here there's not enough of it. The Department of Energy says that we should be here in Connecticut up around R60. Professionals like Dr. Energy Saver use cellulose insulation, basically ground up newspaper, and pump that into attics. Of course, it's not just at the top of the house. Drafts can come in through any hole in the wall for light switches and outlets, and from the basement, too. So if you're sitting up here and you feel cold air coming up from the basement or cold floors, it's oftentimes because that uh, rim joist, this piece of, of wood here that attaches to the foundation is not insulated. Spray foam insulation can solve that problem. Ironically, even your chimney can be making your house colder with gaps between it and the rest of the house. Here we've installed metal flashing, fire rated caulking, and fireproof rock wool insulation. And we're going to finish this up to seal around the chimney with fireproof materials, and then we can safely insulate against here to close this gap. And Keith there says when they come in and fully insulate a home like that, on average, they end up reducing fuel and energy con consumption by about a third. I'm Kent Pierce.